And welcome to part 3 of Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. Alright my friends, welcome back. So we have 100% completed the Artisan's World, and now we're going to be speaking to Marco the Balloonist to get on down to our next area. Wow, I see you have been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. I sure have. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's World if you like, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to uh, the Peacekeeper's World. We're going to be 100% uh, completing that area as well, obviously. It's a pretty unique area, brand new area, brand new terrain. It's pretty cool. And I can hear the trumpets of nostalgia already. Who's this? Titan. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Okay, that was one orange dragon. Yep, we're collecting all the dragons and collecting all the treasure, obviously. And this is the new uh, enemy of this area. Pretty evil dudes. Um, some kind of soldier looking people. Um, yeah, it kind of perplexes me in a way that these uh, guys are living in an area called Peacekeepers because they're not really peacekeeping people. I mean, have a look at them for crying out loud. They're just firing cannons back and, you know, back and forth and that. And if we get in their way, of course, they will fire cannons at us as well. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to even go there on that. Yeah, we're going to be going into Dry Canyon. That is going to be the level we're going to be starting off with. Um, but first of all, we're going to take out all the guards here and we're going to make a habit of getting all the dragons and all the crystals first before I go into any levels on that. But this guy, terrified beyond recognition. Some of these guys actually do something else, like this guy here, for example, he's mooning us. Let's get rid of him. That's a really big mistake to make to a dragon. Like, literally, that is the worst thing that you could ever do to a dragon. Never moon a dragon. That, that, that should, yeah. Just want to throw that one out there for anybody who uh, is an idiot, perhaps. Okay, right. I do like to check all the tents just to make sure that there isn't anybody else left behind. And who is this? Magnus. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Lots of butterflies. I have no idea how such a manly sounding dragon can get away with saying butterflies and stuff like that, I don't know. But yeah, as you guys know, it is very important to keep Sparks alive because if he wasn't alive, uh, we'd be dead. Just like this guy's about to be. What is wrong with these people? Well, they've literally got something wrong with them. Ow, man, freaking hell! Screw you! There we go. Now, we can actually use these cannons if we want. We just turn it around with our head. <laughs> and then we just destroy all the crates and all of the uh, other gems in the background there. You can actually destroy them if you want. How the hell did that one not explode? What happened to that? Let's turn this a bit more. There we go. Right. Yeah, these crates here you can't actually destroy with um, charging into them or with flame. You actually have to uh, use the cannon for that. Okay. Did you pick up that gem, Sparks? No, you didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, Sparks um, actually collects the gems for you. If you don't have Sparks on your side, he won't pick them up, obviously, because he won't be there. So it does make your job a little bit easier. And uh, especially in our case, with um, doing a no-death playthrough, it's a little uh, extra goal I have set myself here. I'm going to be playing this game without dying, like I said in the previous episodes. Um, so obviously, if I fall off this cliff here, that, uh, <laughs> that goal is completely void, isn't it? Because there's actually no way to survive down there. If you fall off there, that is it. You're just going to sink in this uh, purple tar-like substance. And that'll be it. That'll be game over for me, I think. But just listen to this music, man. I don't know what it is about this game sometimes. It just cracks me up. He didn't even get a chance to run away there. Did you see that? That's mad. There's a key. I'm going to take this key with me. I actually know where it is as well. Gunner. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. <laughs> that is exactly what we're doing. We're really enjoying ourselves doing that. Toast some ass, like we were doing actually. Right. Okay. I'm going to grab these free Jimmy gems, 
and uh, like I said, I know exactly where that key goes. It actually goes up here, and the first time I played this area, I didn't actually realise that you could climb up on top of this, and you actually have to, to be able to get over to this door over here. And you get just enough gliding distance to be able to make it. You come through this door here, and there's like, tons of gems here. Especially in these uh, chests here. There's always loads in there for some reason. What's that, like 10 gems? That's insane. But yeah, Sparks is currently blue, he's got three colours as I've previously stated, and you guys probably already know that. Um, he's kind of looking like Sonic at the moment. We are missing seven gems apparently, and I have no idea where them seven gems are. Oh man, come on, I want to get straight into... oh wait, what is that? I think I might have just found him. Yay! There we go. And there's another life. Not that we're exactly going to need it because, oh my god, Holy crap, that could have been extremely bad. Did you guys see that? I just got a life and I was like, not that we're gonna need it, and I jumped straight into a puddle nearly twice, as well, actually it was twice, and nearly freaking died. The whole goal of this game, this playthrough would have been completely ruined just there and then, as I said, I didn't need a life. Holy crap, all right, let's go into Dry Canyon. Let's get on with this. Let's stop clowning around now, shall we? <laughs> 1200 gems. Let's backflip into this one as well. Okay, well that could have gone extremely bad. <laughs> as you guys can see, uh, pretty much all the areas in um, Dry, well not Dry Canyon, the, uh, god what is this place called, Peacekeepers, uh, is all desert. All the levels are pretty much desert levels. And there's cactuses here, if you flame them they go all dark like that and they shake off all the ash and that, which is Really, really cute, actually, for some reason. Hey, there's a thief! Come back here! You are not getting away from this dragon. Come here. Ah, what? Are you serious? No, whoa, no, no, no. I saw what you did there, Mr. Thief. You nearly lured me right into that. This guy is so fast. He, where is his feet? He doesn't even have any feet, does he? Alright, never mind. That is four uh, eggs collected. There is uh, 12 dragon eggs in this uh, in this game to collect. That all accounts for the 120% completion of this game. And you see what I did there? Those guys fire a rocket, not a rocket as such, but it's, it looks like a rocket. It is a bullet, it comes at you, and uh, you have chance to dodge it like Neo. But you don't really need to, because if you charge into it, that happens. You just, uh, I don't know, you destroyed the bullet anyway. Kind of a nice magical touch. Conan. Thank you for releasing me. You are very welcome. That is our 20th dragon. I can't remember exactly uh, how many dragons are in this game, but there is quite a few. I think there is actually over a hundred dragons. And there is certainly over a hundred pieces of treasure for us to collect here as well. Now, uh, I did actually see that. Thank you, Mr. Gem, for glistening in the distance. That is a gem, isn't it? I saw something glistening over there. What is that? I think this game is playing tricks on me now. Did you guys see that there was glistening in the distance? Alright, never mind. I know exactly where I'm going next. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Um, I guess I could fly up onto that platform there, but I am going to do something very quickly. Like making some chicken! Flaming these guys. <laughs> the animation for it. This guy is actually using one of those birds as a weapon. That is animal cruelty in my opinion. But yeah. Who cares, we are a dragon, we're flaming these things all over the place anyway. Alright, you're gonna try and fire at me? Oh, okay, no, you're playing it smart. Never mind, you're dead now. Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uncertain expression in his voice just then. We are going to have to put our gliding skills to good use by flying over here, of course. Getting all these good old Jimmy Jams and killing enemies in our path. Now, you would think there is no reason to, uh, well, go back now, but actually it's a good idea to uh, fly left here, because if you do, and you do it properly, you'll actually come up here. And there is no other way of getting up here other than that. So make sure that you do that, it's also a good shortcut as well. Maximos. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. 
flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Okay, wow, Maximus, uh, you should start a cooking channel. Um, yeah, but this key here is really important. Uh, it's going to really benefit us actually in the uh, short term because we're going to be needing it very, very, very soon. But you know what, figuring as we're already here, it does make sense to uh, collect all these gems while we're here, instead of going all the way around again. I do like to take shortcuts in games sometimes, and it's not, you know, avoiding anything like gems or anything like that, it's getting everything done, but you know, it makes your life a lot easier. What, there's 25 gems there? How about that? It's not every time you see that, just a random 25 gem standing around. That doesn't happen all the time. Boom! You didn't even see that. Didn't even see me. I am that much of a pro. I am that much of a dragon pro. Right, now we should be able to fly onto the platform from up here. Look at this gliding. I am a boss. I'm a purple boss. Yeah, we didn't go this way. But we're going this way now. So there's something. You, sir, can go away. You can't charge any of the big enemies in this game, it seems. And all of the big enemies are using a smaller enemy as a weapon. This is really unfair. I mean, that was what they signed up for. These little enemies signed up to be this guy's weapon. Kind of a harsh life, really, if you uh, you ask my opinion of it. Who's this? Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a purple dragon, just like us. Most of the dragons in this area are actually like orange and kind of, I don't know, leopardy looking. Yeah. That's an orange dragon. Right, okay, so in the distance over there, that is actually where the chest is located. But I actually thought at first that we were only going to be needing to get 300 gems, but it actually looks like we're going to need 400 gems. That's quite a lot of gems for this episode. Ah, this is probably why you guys here. And flame grill some chicken, knock an enemy off the ledge, providing I don't knock myself off the ledge, that could be extremely fatal. Okay, right, um, ah, I see you, shaking them eyes, yes, okay, I'll get them. Although I don't really need to, because what would be the point? It's a no-death playthrough, why am I collecting lives anyway? But nevertheless, there is uh, some gems over there, so I actually need to go over there anyway. Hopefully there's a hundred gems in this uh, area, because otherwise I have to look around and try and find it. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I hate having to do that. You f you're looking for one gem and it's located somewhere, but you don't know exactly where it is. That can be rather annoying. Right, let's see. There is some fireworks. I love these fireworks. Look at this. Can I ignite some fireworks? They explode. And I think they can do some damage, I'm not exactly sure, I don't want to hang around long enough to find that one out. Uh, there's some more here. It's turning into a firework display. And over there. Hopefully, most of the last gems will be over here. Let's give this a check. What do we got? They look like 25 gems. I really like this area, although it does make me want to drink, you know? It's very dry, very... Uh, I don't know. It makes my throat quite uncomfortable. And I'm surprised that Spyro's not feeling the same, although he might be. He's, you know, flaming all the time. I mean, does he ever drink during this? I don't even know what dragons drink. I don't know. But I think this is going to be where the last of the gems are. I'm really, uh, I'm really hoping so, anyway. It's probably not, though, is it? Nope. <laughs> there we go, I've jinxed uh, what I was saying before about needing a gem. Um, it's obviously a green gem or two red gems. Um, let's have a look around quickly. They might turn up if we're lucky. Oh, jeez, why does this always happen? Okay. Well, I've got to quickly uh, skim this level and make sure that I didn't leave anything behind. There's nothing behind here, is there? No, there isn't, although that would be a good place to hide one. But yeah, what do you guys think of this level? Pretty cool, pretty unique. Um... Like I said, most of these levels are going to be quite desert-based. Um, so look forward to more levels like that during this area. But yeah, I don't actually know where this gem is going to be. This is like a game of hide-and-seek now. Do you cactuses know where the gem is? 
No, I, why am I even asking the cactuses? Why the hell am I even speaking to the cactuses? Okay, so it's not here. Right, okay. I might know where it is. Just a might, not a guarantee. But I might know where the gem is. <laughs> Alright. Okay. These treasure hunting things, yeah. What can you do? What can you do about it? Oh wait, there it is. Hey, we found it. Fantastic. Right, well that is this level officially 100% completed as well. Um, I think we can just pretty much exit this level now. We're done. Another 400 gems added to our total treasure, making it 1600. And I think that's going to be where we're going to be leaving part four, uh, part three sorry, of Spyro the Dragon. I'm hoping to see you guys in part four of this playthrough. So how are we doing here? Let's see. We've got all the dragons there. We're 21% through the game. We've got 23 dragons, four uh, eggs out of the 12, and 1600 treasure. All right, cool. So um, Spyro is looking at you just there to make sure that you guys are going to be joining us in part four of this playthrough. It'd be really cool to see you guys there. Alright guys, so once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.